What's up, y'all? Got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We better get into DDG confused after Quavo pressed him on Kaisenet's stream. Let's get it. So things got weird between DDG and Quavo on Kaisenet's stream. A lot of people felt like DDG should have punched Quavo in the face because he was doing way too much. Gang, 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 gang. I gotta go to the studio. Ah, uh, wait, your, your studio? Yeah. Okay. After one game, after one game. One game of what? One game of Mafia. All right, come on. How long is it gonna take? No, that's might take a minute. <laughs> I take a, it might take a minute. It might take like 45. We'll find out who the. Nah, that's too Bro, long. Wait, say they 30. Come on. It take 20 minutes. Come on, you can't lie in here. Oh, yeah, actually, it depends on. My video does not take 20 What's minutes. Up, nigga? You all right? All right, wait, how many words? You ain't saying nothing. What you want, box? <laughs> eight, nine, all right, cool. We good. 13. 13. All right, we good? Come on. 13. No, like. I don't, I don't think that was nothing. He was doing a lot in general. Okay, I done missed some shit. If you move, you feel it or feel it. See, so yeah, guys, if motion move, is right. everything. Cause like, if, like if you my feel, if you my feel, and you move around and choose and shit, you be like, oh nah, he's my feel. So you be able to know instantly. Cause you point, yeah. you gotta point at like who you want to kill. So like, it's, it's always good to be like spaced okay, out. Bro, 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 stand over there, yeah. over there. Why would I stand over there? Because you're too close. Huh? Cause you're too mm -hmm. close. You say you're too close. Why would I stand over there though? I feel like people. Where are you confused. gonna stand if you're too close? <laughs> you confused? No, I don't. Where you gonna go if you're too close? You get it. He can sit right on the steps. He can sit in the back. I try to break it down. Let me one of those. Where you? Where you gonna yeah. go if you're too close? Yo, you guys get the game? Not trying to play him like he trying to be on him, nigga. Kai right there too. So I guess he was mad. DDG didn't speak to him. What the? F Hold on. Because if you not. Alright, wait, how many words? You ain't saying that, what you want, Bob? Not tell. Oh. oh, yeah, actually, it, depend, it depends on. My video not take 20 What's minutes. Up, nigga? You alright? Alright, wait, how many words? You ain't saying that, what you want, Bob? Alright, cool, we good. 13. Alright, we good? Come on. 13. DDG ain't no b though. He would have scrapped Quavo. Quavo on him, nigga, Quavo skinny. I've been beside Quavo. That nigga is all of 120 pounds soaking wet. He might be 150 because he tall. DDG would fuck around and knock the map. <laughs> For real. What? No, like if you move, you feel it or feel it. See, so yeah, guys, if motion move, is where? everything. Cause like, if, like, if, you you feel, if you my feel and you move around and choose and sh you be like, oh, no, nah, he's my feel. So you be able to know instantly. Because you point. You, you got to point at like who you want to kill. So like, it's always good to be like spaced okay, out. Bro, 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 stand over there, yeah. over there. Why would I stand over there? Because you're too close. Huh? Because you're too mm -hmm. close. You say you're too close. Why would I stand over there though? I feel like people are you gonna stand Did he do more than this? You're too close. <laughs> you confused? No, I don't Where are you gonna go if you're too close? He can just sit right on the steps, he can yeah. sit in the back. I just had to break it down. Let me one of those. Where you, where you gonna yeah. go if you too close? Yo, you guys get the game? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Where? He Everyone's... pushed him. First of all, when he pushed him in the first place, that wasn't nothing serious. He was just trying to tell DDG, nigga, I know you and you ain't speak what it sound like to me. Stance? I wouldn't have took where, that where, serious. That wasn't enough to crash out. All right. You guys got oh! it? Oh! I, 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 I get it. Yeah, practice you, rounds bro. always helpful, but like... I got it. Stance? Where? You got it? All right. You guys got it? I get, I get, I get, I get yeah, practice you, rounds always helpful, but like. You say, nigga, you good? Like, what the fuck? I think people can actually do it. I can't see. Hey, he, he look like my baby cuz, bro. That's funny. Huh? He look like my boy who be playing ball. I can show you a person you look just like. For real? Let me see. You wanna see for real? All right. So we talking about. One person talking at a time. Listen, if I say something, y'all gotta listen to the narrator. So if I if I say, yo, I need an don't, actual don't official biased, accusation, though. if y'all just going around right accusing this, everybody, it's, it's not gonna work. Like let's say when you say let's say if you actually It wasn't a everybody in the room was thrown off by Quavo's actions. DDG definitely handled that situation maturely because if it was somebody else, that would have ended way differently. But a lot of people in the comments were saying that Quavo was drinking, and there has been rumors when Quavo started drinking, he started acting like a different person, allegedly. And that possibly could have been a case in this situation because he was being aggressive to not only DDG, but to majority of the people in the room. And a lot oh. of people was trying to play it off because they was on live stream. They didn't want things to turn nah, left. Nah, y'all gotta understand, these millionaire boys, these niggas is not 
These are not little peon dudes. You know, what I'm, these are not. <laughs> these are not little peon crash out dudes. These niggas actually got shit to lose. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Ain't nobody got time for that? Hell no. Hell no. It wasn't worth it. And Quavo would have got his ass beat. And honestly, everybody got security there. Everybody has security there. <laughs> so, it's just not worth it. But Quavo was really being aggressive. What? <laughs> Nigga, tell him what you spent. No, 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 I never say, I never say, I never talk about Why? I don't know, I just don't do it. I just never been, I just don't do it. It's only your third chain, nigga. Tell him what you said. I can, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you. I right, muted. Did me. he say it's only your third chain? Is that what he just said? I don't know, I just don't do it. I just never been, I just don't do it. It's only your third chain, nigga. Tell him what you said. What? What? <laughs> Y'all, I do not like Quavo at all. When I tell you, I ain't even watched this shit because I don't like Quavo. I don't like him at all. But, nigga, you telling me that you counting this nigga chain and to see, or chains, and to see if it's real or not? He's in a $55 million mansion that came out of his pocket. What are we talking about? That's I, gang would have had to leave. He would have had to leave. What? I do not like that man. Listen, I have two stories with Quavo. One, the Migos was on my plane. This was like five, six years ago, maybe more than that. The niggas was on my plane. And at the time, I wasn't who I am today. So I was like, you know, I want to get a picture with um, Offset at least because, you know, I just wanted a picture at the time when I was doing pictures. And um, <clears throat> I was like, you know, can I get a picture? But I had my camera and I was vlogging. So it would have it been like a good clickbait for the vlog or whatever. Quavo was like, no. I was like, all right. Offset, he grabbed my phone. He's like, I can do it because he's t obviously taller than me. And, you know, he took the picture or whatever, kept it the f moving. The next time I seen Quavo, now I got some money. So we in a goddamn restaurant. It's a place. It's a steakhouse. I can't think of the name right now. I can't think of, I can't think of the name right now. We in there. It's giving very much quiet, very much demure, very much white people, very much uh, high plates, very much my tab was $400. Okay. So... Quavo on there like, yeah, yeah, bro. I uh, y'all, that's a cool nine hundred. Y'all, I just y'all, I can uh, I can just spend. He that nigga only want nine hundred for. Why are you this loud? And the server came to serve him. He didn't even say hello. She was like, "How you doing, sir?" He was like, "Let me get some steak, potatoes, and like something to drink or some." Shit. She was like, "How you doing, sir? Let me get some steak, potatoes, and da da da." Me and Honey Sauce was like, when I tell you he was sitting beside us, so it's us, him, okay? <laughs> we like, who the f*** is he talking to? This nigga is rude. Oh, I wouldn't have never booked this nigga. Oh. I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you. I muted real quick. I muted. He got me. He got me. I didn't even know. Uh, you hey, hey, got yo. You my <laughs> piece me. Piece me. I ain't gonna lie. He jet. He probably. He ain't make nine, but about a That's ten. A you can't be mad for him making a ten. Cause I would've told that nigga. I'd have got down to the. It's a, it, it, look, look, look at the details on it. That's why. And I would've went do. He put on. I would've went do something. Yeah. Y'all know it's like girls and shit jumping the fence. It's like, fuck, niggas jumping that fence for the past. It's like, the whole time people been jumping the fence trying to That's get over there. That's why all niggas was trying to go to the studio. They said, nah, because they ain't. And then we told me and Twink told me, we don't care what walking. We need to record that shit. Them folks jumping the fence. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with them. Anything pull up. I got your uncle. I'm your uncle. 
He said anything. What? We need to record that shit before jumping the fence. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with us. Anything pull up. I got your uncle. I'm your uncle. I'm your uncle? <laughs> What's up with this nigga, bro? We talking about. Y'all said if you jump, oh, jump, 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 Wait, 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 that's not Kev. That's okay, not so this is, this, I'm glad it wasn't just, um, <laughs> oh, Kevin Hart ain't shit. I'm glad it was, it, it wasn't just DDG that experienced. Kev, okay. Okay. Oh, Kev, you know, you know, Kev, Kev Hart. Kevin, that's Kev, not you. Kev, Kev Hart. <laughs> Kev? Kev Hart. Kevin. You spoke Kev, to mom, Dukes, don't do that. Kevin. Kevin. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You got a hundred in you, Kev Hart. That's Wait, fine. that's his IG though. There's no way this nigga made his Twitch account. Kevin, you, you, you finally made it. You talk about T Pain, cheap ass, <laughs> but you just get the five. <laughs> Kevin, if that's you, give the 100. Come on, Kevin. You want to talk about T Pain, cheap ass? That's but you just get Kevin. the five. Halle Belly did admit that Kevin she was reacting when it came five, to DDG taking their son thing. Halo on stream with Kaisa Net. Now, DDG also spoke Why out as I'm well trying to a lot of people. You don't want to stop. People are still coming for Halle, saying that he should take her to court. Well, here's what he had to say. One thing I don't like what people do, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care if people think she wrong or not, or if I think she wrong or right. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. So when situations like this happen, I, ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible because Halo needs her, you know? I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. And Listen, DDG has grown. He has absolutely grown. I admire his response. I'm going to clearly let it finish, but I did see it yesterday. I admire his response. Um, and postpartum is a fool. I can only imagine. I haven't had a child, but from what I've heard, it's it's really terrible. So... Uh, him being a man and understanding that, I respect that. Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like, Kaysen had also react to Holly Billy's recent tweet as well. Yesterday, maybe I did overreact and shouldn't have brought it here. I know that Halo is always safe with his dad. I just don't like finding out what the rest of the world, what my baby is doing. Thank you, Kyle, for the gifts for Halo. W. Halley! W. Halley! Holly Billy and DDG, I feel like it's- That's just, dope. Kai, Kai handled it well, too. Just in a confusing space in their life. They're trying to figure out this co-parenting. They're trying to figure out their own relationship, whether they want to be together. Then they're in the spotlight, trying to advance in their careers. And then you got Holly fans. They probably telling her different things, which I think that's what happened. I felt like her fans probably went over there and said some things. And Holly not knowing completely the situation, because she probably don't watch Kai or know what's going on. They probably told her a whole bunch of crap. And her being a new mom and an over protective mom like she said can feel some type of way and that's probably why she reacted the way she did and ddg presented with a spare of the moment opportunity like being on kai's stream because everybody's watching he's also trying to advance his career as well so basically it's two different people from two different walks of life trying to figure things out together normal relationship sh so i now give both point of views y'all leave your comments down below let me know what y'all think the reason why <clears throat> only reason why i think voice said it might have been the fans because of how she responded it's almost like she was responding back to somebody like yes i do see that you know what i'm saying like um no i didn't know that he was on the stream i hate that i found out this way it's almost like she was responding to somebody comes to that now let's talk about carmen because she did take the social media at the rumors were going around that she may be pregnant after this picture was trending on tiktok they said uh that girl carmen might be pregnant oh bro hey I seen a little picture too. Don't mind me, I'm about to go to the gym. But I seen a little picture and it kind of do look like her stomach big a little bit. Like, cause I seen it poking out out there, but she could be, she could just ate a lot. It could be a fool baby, y'all. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just- He saying, got that from the comments. I cannot stand this man. <laughs> on my soul, don't shoot the messenger. But I think I seen Carmen belly getting a little big. Hey, hey. Someone with a fake Carmen Facebook page post coming soon 2025, which they're insinuating that a baby is coming next year. So Carmen did take to social media to clear everything up. She said, I don't hold on. Y'all peep this. Trump. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all 
when we done have or manage a Facebook page. I'm not pregnant. If I was to pop out pregnant, y'all gonna be happy and mad. Once again, I don't have or manage a Facebook page and I'm not pregnant. Next. Nick also cleared up rumors as well because after she dropped her video titled I'm Pregnant, people really thought that she was pregnant, but here's what she had to say. French? No, I do not speak French. <laughs> I'm not having another baby right now. Why, why is everybody missing the fact that it was a prank? Why are we missing this? I don't understand. Cause every step I, thank you for the money guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Who put this on me? All right, y'all, that noise you hear, I'm talking to YouTube uh, help. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.